my arm is long enough to hold the camera. So, so it's not so far zoomed in, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, oh, nice angle. <laughs> that's, that's a little better, but yeah. Yeah. So I'm back like the, yeah, I'll try and post this video then today when I'm filming the, which would be the day after I upload my other video. So yeah, I'm back two days in a, in a row. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so much has happened in one day. <laughs> like for starters, uh, as the title of this video says, uh, I was in an earthquake. Yes, uh, it just happened yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a 6.5 magnitude. Uh, it happened in this in uh, central Idaho. Uh, excuse me, and uh, I, I'm living in southern Idaho, so I don't think. The, sh the shaking was as bad, but I, it's, I still felt it a lot. I think it was felt all the way in uh, Washington and Montana. But yeah, but here at my place, everything, everything is fine. No, nothing even fell off. Uh, the, the, you know, the furniture or the walls, the, the pictures that like, you know, my pictures that I have hanging up, they were swaying, swinging, swaying, whatever, <laughs> moving back and forth a lot. But yeah, yeah, but it was, it's kind of freaky because yeah, I was just sitting here in this red chair and uh, you know I was just reading a book because uh, I've been trying to read more for a long time and now with the pandemic and quarantine going on it's perfect the perfect time to read so yeah that's what I was doing and while, while I was reading, I just start hearing some rattling noises and kind of felt like I was vibrating. Uh, at first it wasn't really bad. Like I, I just thought that it was a big truck passing by my place or you know, maybe a, a low flying plane. That's what I thought. And yeah, like, yeah, like that stuff on the wall. I was, I was hearing shake. Oh, that's, uh, okay. That's a little better, <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So everything was shaking and rattling for you know, uh, five or so seconds, I say, and then it stopped. So I just went back to reading, but then a couple of seconds later, it started up again and it was a, a lot more intense than, than uh, previous. So, so yeah, then I'm looking all around and then, yeah, then that's when I realized it was an earthquake. And yeah, 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 it was, it was just a lot more shaking and more intense shaking the second time, uh, the second wave, I guess. So, so then, you know, I, I start feeling unsafe, so I, I actually get up from the chair and go to my front door and 
just to get out of my apartment because uh, you know, like scientists say, earthquakes don't kill people. Falling buildings kill people. So yeah, I, I'm going outside to be safe. Uh, but, but as soon as I get to the door, then the shaking starts going down and then stops altogether. But yeah, but yeah, so I, I think all total the shaking might have been 12 to 15 seconds. So, something like that, i say. But yeah, but yeah, it was a little scary. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so as if the coronavirus wasn't bad enough, now I have to deal with uh, an earthquake and also have to watch out for aftershocks. So, great. <laughs> but I, I did see online uh, a week or two ago, I think, uh, there was a tornado that happened in Arkansas. And uh, people were saying that because of the all of the quarantines going on and people staying inside, that it actually helped save lives from the tornado. So not as many people died uh, or got injured in the tornado because everyone was inside already. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, but with an earthquake, it's the, the opposite because everyone's inside then a building collapses and everyone dies. So you won't actually want people outside when an earthquake happens. But, but yeah, yeah. Glad it wasn't a really big one, like, like a 10.0 or bigger uh, earthquake. That would have been bad, or I'm glad it wasn't closer to where I live. Because, yeah, it was way up north from where I am. So, yeah, that's, that's really good. And I, actually, I heard on my local news that, uh, there was a uh, earthquake detection lab uh, at a at a university, like or I, I don't know exactly what it was, but it, they they monitored earthquakes at the lab, but it was actually closed because of the corona virus pandemic so all of the machines were turned off at, at this one lab so they didn't get to measure it but the, there's there's uh, another um, another lab that measures earthquakes somewhere else in in Idaho that's that's uh, run by the U.S. government, so it was still turned on, but not this one. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, I survived the earthquakes, or, well, just one earthquake. Uh, I haven't felt any aftershocks, but I've heard other people who did. 
uh, elsewhere. But uh, yeah, just have to look out for those now. But some other news um, is that yesterday I also got my uh, coronavirus test results back and they were negative. So I don't have the coronavirus or uh, <laughs> right. I am negative for the coronavirus. So yeah, that's good. That helps put my mind at rest a little bit, but, but that doesn't mean that I can't get uh, the coronavirus in the future. So still have to be careful. And, oh, and also, uh, I heard about this other symptom of coronavirus. Uh, it's the loss of your taste and smell. So if, you know, you lose your sense of taste and smell, then you should go get tested for coronavirus. Which, which I, I, I still have my taste and smell and no, none of the other symptoms. So yeah, yep, um, I'm good. Um, and yeah, and I'm glad, but uh, yeah, but not, much is going to change because I'm still going to be indoors a lot and still going to limit my physical exposure with other people or my exposure to other people physically, I guess. So, yeah, but I'm glad my results were negative. And glad I survived an earthquake. So, yeah, that's going to be all for this spontaneous vlog, I guess. All right, goodbye.